Water is very important for our skin. You have to drink lots of water. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sharing... These glasses should stay in one place. In this video guys, I'm going to be sharing with you all you need to know to have a bum ass skin. The goal is to look as good as possible in your 60s. Skincare is actually self-love. It's my own way of pampering myself. I'm not an aesthetician, just that I've studied excessively on skincare and I thought to share it with you guys so we can all be ha, ha, glowing and be popping together. Skincare is not only for women. Guys also take care of your skin. A good skincare routine helps with fine lines, it helps with wrinkles, it helps with dark spots, hyperpigmentation and all other skin concerns. Skincare helps manage minor skin issues like oiliness and dryness. It's always good to start early. Start to take care of your skin early. Start in your early 20s. If you miss early 20s, start in your late 20s. Latest! In your 30s, don't skip that. No, you can't. Never. The older we get, the longer it takes our skin cells to regenerate. So our skin doesn't produce so much collagen again. It produces less collagen. So that's why we have to supplement with skincare. Apart from skincare, you can also take supplements. Yes. If you can afford it, please start taking your supplements early. When it comes to skincare, prevention is better than reversal. It's better for you to prevent than to start trying to reverse it later, maybe in your 60s. So we're going to be talking about skin types. You have to know your skin type. That's the number one step. Secondly, we're going to talk about steps, how to layer your skincare. And lastly, we're going to talk about ingredients, how to understand ingredients it's actually good you know the ingredients in your skincare it's super super important you can't just buy any skincare without knowing what exactly is in it because there are some ingredients that are actually harmful to the skin so we are going to be talking about all of them here today bring your popcorn bring your ice cream come on and let's enjoy this video together please like this video leave a comment below have you started your own skincare journey or you're like, hmm, let's just be going. Anywhere this motto stop, we'll stop it like that. Now guys, let's go into skin types. To start a good skincare regime, you have to know your skin type. You have to know if your skin is oily, dry, combination, or sensitive skin. So you have to know what skin type you have to be able to know what exactly to give to your skin, okay? People that have dry skin are prone to having wrinkles. Like if my skin is super dry, it shrinks. That's just it. So the drier your skin is, the more possibility that you're going to have wrinkles on time. So you have to supplement it by moisturizing your skin. Your skin has to lick moisture. Don't joke with it, guys. Now let's go into steps. I have two steps here for you guys. So there's a simple routine. And there is an advanced routine. A simple routine. A simple routine is basically cleansing. You have to cleanse, wash your face, you moisturize, you put on your sunscreen. Sunscreen is very, very important because it prevents wrinkles and sun damage. It also prevents cancer. Mm -mm, you don't want cancer. Please use your sunscreen every day. Whether you're black, white, green, yellow, Purple, you have to always wear your sunscreen every single day guys imagine how sun dries our clothes outside you can now imagine how harmful sun is to our skin you see how big and massive this thing is I carry it everywhere I'm going to I don't play with my umbrella everyone should actually have this don't go out in the sun use your umbrella let's go into advanced skincare routine so this routine is supposed to target specific issue you have to treat so for the advanced routine you cleanse you exfoliate you tone you treat you use your serum you moisturize then you use your sunscreen so these are steps on how to layer your skincare now let's talk about ingredients it's very important for you to understand the ingredients in your skincare it is very vital i personally love reading skincare ingredients i love studying them i want to know what i'm putting on my skin 
because my skin is delicate i don't want to use anything harmful on my skin at all to understand the ingredients in your skincare you have to let's check the ingredient list the first few ingredients are the most active so the first one is the most potent that is how it goes so you get to the least ones the least ones are not always that potent if you check your skincare products you're going to see water and glycerin they are mostly the number one ingredients in the formation of skincare glycerin is actually a humectant it helps hydrate the skin it's a form of moisturizer the next ingredient is hyaluronic acid it hydrates the skin it makes our skin look glowy plump it helps reduce fine lines wrinkles all those things the next one is retinol retinol is basically vitamin a this is the number one proven anti-aging ingredient out there retinol also helps in collagen production it helps our skin cells regenerate faster because the older we get it takes our skin longer time to regenerate and create new cells it also helps fight acne it helps keep acne at bay if you want to have a skin of a baby when you're 50 years old you have to start using retinol now but the thing with retinol is that it is very tricky it can be irritating to the skin so that's why you have to consult a dermatologist or an esthetician so the person can prescribe to you what kind of retinol to use exactly and it's always good when you want to start with your retinol you should start with the smallest percentage so your skin doesn't get irritated you can't use retinol without using your sunscreen no it's not possible the next ingredient is niacinamide niacinamide helps brighten the skin it helps even out your skin tone it helps with age spots and it makes your skin look all glowy and so oh, healthy niacinamide helps calm our skin and it also helps to regulate the oil production of sebum in our skin it also helps with acne it is a good anti-aging ingredient as well the next one is vitamin c vitamin c helps plump the skin it helps brighten the skin it helps your skin look glowy and healthy you can't use your vitamin c without using sunscreen sunscreen is actually very important if and when you're using vitamin c basically you can't use anything without using your sunscreen it's not possible Vitamin C is also a great anti-ager because it makes your skin look like a baby bomb. You can actually even take vitamin C. You can take this. This is finished. So you can take your vitamin C. You can lick it. You can drink it. All right. This is so sour. The next ingredient is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid helps treat acne, it penetrates deep into our skin and it helps unclog our pores. It cleans our skin from the inside. It gently exfoliates our skin. So it's a good exfoliator. Another ingredient in skincare is collagen. Collagen is super important for the skin. We already know that it helps with skin elasticity, it helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles, it helps fight aging. It's just super good. So if you have collagen in your ingredients, man, you, you, you are living the best life ever. Please note that apart from a good skincare routine, you have to eat good food. So there are food that are very good for our skin, like fish, protein, vegetables, and um, fruits, bell peppers. Bell peppers are actually very high in vitamin C. So imagine what they do to our skin and to our body and oatmeal oatmeal is very healthy it's good for the skin and don't forget to drink loads and loads of water too you should not forget that the skin around our eyes are very thin you have to be very gentle with your eyes don't be rough on your eyes you don't want to start having early 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 you don't want to start having early wrinkles <laughs> sleep matters you have to sleep Sleep is very important. No matter how much skincare you're using, no matter how expensive your skincare is, if you're not having enough rest and sleep, your skin would look plump and healthy and glowy. So what I used to do now is, if I'm working and sleep comes, I just sleep for one hour. It's called power nap. I steal it and I keep going. <laughs> and you have to be patient. It doesn't just work overnight. You can't start using skincare today and within one week, you want your result, no. It is not just the picky kind of thing, no. 
you want to see the progress with time you want your skin to look good with time you want your skin to glow and look healthy that's the way it works i actually believe in less is more you can just go little by little introduce one thing to your skin you must not just start with five or ten no you can start with two start little by little so you can know what exactly your skin is reacting to or what exactly your skin likes that is the way it has worked for me because if you start using five at once and you start breaking out you won't know which one your skin is reacting to another thing is that to prevent wrinkles you have to sleep face up don't always rest on your face okay see are you seeing how pressed my face is looking this is how we lie down in the night so you have to use a very soft pillow I talked about my pillow in my essential video I'm gonna link it here or better still my face up like this so you don't bend your face or shrink your face when you're sleeping all right this is the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did leave a comment below share this video with your friend subscribe and turn on the notification bell so whenever i post a new video you're gonna see it what is wrong with my hand anyways i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye